Hello everyone, this is Ben with Stringer Bridge Farm. Today I kind of wanted to talk about uh, one of those things I kind of initially thought was a little bit of a catchphrase, but uh, the more years we ranch and farm, the more I realize it's, it's as true as can be. And that's uh, when you hear the things about regenerative ranching. So I wanted to share my personal experience uh, with regenerative ranching. And that's uh, this field right here that we're on right now. And this is about a 20 acre field. And what this field is, is the parish dredged a drainage canal on the north boundary of our property, uh, straight back that way through those trees. And they needed somewhere to put all the spoil. So before we had purchased this land, uh, which would be about seven or eight years ago now, they put all the spoil from that dredge job on this field. It made a nice, crowned, beautiful, well-drained field in the middle of you know, generally low bottomland hardwood area. So it looks nice, uh, but what we noticed was we could not grow grass on this field. So this is our third, we're going into our third winter here. Uh, the last two summers, or two summers ago, we got a total of about two weeks grazing time on this 20 acre field. And that was actually with less cows. We had maybe about a dozen cows at that time. Uh, so we did kind of what you see here where we've got hay bale. We rotate our cows through the winter, even if we're not on rye or clover or anything, even if we're feeding hay, we rotate and it's basically to spread all the manure out on the field evenly. Uh, and so the first summer, that's what we did. We just, we kept rotating through here. When we'd get on this field, we had to actually feed hay because there was no grass, the grass wouldn't grow. Uh, and here we are, we just got through our second summer and just in one year of rotating the cows through and, and uh, keeping them on these fields, uh, we got, I'm gonna say about four months worth of grazing days off of this pasture, so significant improvement. So one of the things we noted was that first summer when we had that issue, we thought from the spoil there was something wrong with this soil. So we actually took a soil sample from our very best pasture, and then we took two or three samples from this pasture. We had them analyzed, and lo and behold, the soil samples came back exactly the same in everything except one component, and that was organic matter. So, you know, we'd figured uh, all the neighbors told us, so oh, you're gonna have to lime and do all these other things. And we kind of believed it, I guess, until we got the data. Uh, and the data said there was all the nutrients this ground needed. You know, we're South Louisiana, we're in the Mississippi floodplains. We're really nice alluvial fertile soil. So, you know, it wasn't surprising that the sample came back so good. Uh, but what was surprising is that the dramatic difference we saw in growth of this field in our south pasture uh, was nothing but organic matter. So that's what we've been working the last two years to, to improve, and I think we've, we've improved leaps and bounds. Uh, I'm sure we'll get some diminishing returns in the coming years, but now we've got this pasture to where uh, here we are middle of November, and most of the cows are still grazing. They're eating a little bit on the hay, but... In general, they're uh, they're still grazing. Uh, so that's my personal experience with regenerative practices. Uh, you know, we we keep the cows on a very small area for a very short amount of time, and in our area, about a six or seven week rest period uh, tends to be about the way to maximize uh, the forage on this these types of grass we have. Um, but anyway, I guess my my encouragement is, you know, it can be done, but also I think uh, the, the key point for us to help us stay the course was getting that soil sample. So had we just kind of listened to uh, what neighbors and folks told us, I, I think we'd have made a mistake. We'd have spent money unnecessarily. We wouldn't have gotten any better of a result, I don't believe. Uh, but just seeing those samples really gave us the confidence that the ground is fine, the ground is fertile, uh, and in just one or two years time, it's, it's been a significant improvement. 
So anyway, that's what we're doing. So I, I guess the next six weeks or so are waiting on our ryegrass to grow. We're gonna feed hay, just keep rotating them. Anyway, see you guys later.